what's up guys I got my morning coffee but I wanted to talk about this crazy experience I had last night um, it is a spiritual experience something that's happened to me before but not quite the same it was very intense and uh, so yeah let's just let's just get into it so I heard that if you focus on your third eye which is the chakra right here, your pineal gland. If you focus on your third eye um, and you ask questions, you'll end up getting some answers or something. I don't really understand it, but I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. I, I've had lots of <clears throat> experiences with the third eye where the pressure just gets really, really intense and um, you feel like this crazy connection so, so last night I decided that I would just lay down on my back before I go to bed. Um, well, I was in bed falling asleep and I just focused on my third eye. Pretty much instantly, I started to feel this pressure build up right here and basically all on my forehead, my temples, this pressure. And it was strong, like it was really, really strong. Almost overwhelmingly um, powerful and like the pressure was intense. So I was like, okay, I've felt this before. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's just, that's the third eye. That's what happens when you put your energy there. And so I, I started to hear this ringing in my ears, um, but different than it usually is. I have tinnitus, so I always hear this ringing in my ears. And some people, you know, say that's spiritual. I don't know how much I believe that, but Every time I do have a spiritual experience, I end up, you know, noticing that my tinnitus is changing a lot. So this time my tinnitus went from a constant steady high pitch noise to a even higher pitch noise that was fluctuating and almost pulsating like, uh, it almost sounded like a dog whistle. I don't want to say it sounded like that, but it sounded like if you can imagine what a ray gun sounds like, it sounded like that, but like, anyway, it was really high pitch and it was fluctuating. Um, and last time during my astral projection experience, I'll link it, um, during that one, it sounded like a jet was taking off. Like it was a lower pitch noise that was slowly revving up and it was also pulsating, but it was, it was different. So this time it was high pitch and it was pulsating. So that noise, almost took me over like it consumed me it was so loud and I still felt the pressure it kept getting stronger and stronger and I felt like I was being pulled somewhere it felt like I was being pulled I don't know how to explain that but but these things are really hard to explain um, because it's not really something you can understand with the mind I don't really understand it yet so that's kind of why I'm making this video is to ask like if anyone else has experienced it and if anyone else knows what the heck it was. It's good coffee. So, so yeah, the pulsating kept going and then I felt this pull and then I started to get this feeling, two feelings, it was weird. I had this feeling of like absolute love and like peace and then my body would clench up like this, like I would get scared and then it would, it would release, and I would feel that love again, and then it would clench up and be scared again, like, no, no, no. So it was kind of going back and forth from these two states of like, feeling that peace and that pull to resistance, resistance and fear. And I was like, okay, my physical body, like, it's like I still have this attachment, I don't wanna let go yet, and so, that happened for a bit longer. The ringing kept getting louder, more intense. When I kind of just let go completely, I was like, I think I just like heard or said to myself, there's nothing to be afraid of. And I don't remember anything else after that. Like I literally just got knocked out and fell asleep. I slept for 11 hours. I don't even think my alarm woke me up. I had an alarm for like 7 a.m. or something. I don't think it woke me up, but I was tracking my sleep and I don't remember anything I, except for one dream. And it was a dream of like some sort of fear that became 
became um, released or something. I don't know how to explain it. Almost like a fear that you didn't actually need to have and you don't, you don't need it anymore so it's gone. It's been resolved is what the dream kind of, what I understood from that dream. That's the only thing I remember since getting like literally just knocked out and falling asleep for 11 hours. Um, and I woke up with a headache and, um, and I, I, I was like, I felt so peaceful and calm when I woke up, but, but I looked at my phone and I, I was tracking my sleep and, and usually my sleep, you know, sleep cycles look like this when you track them. And, um, well, they start off smaller and they get bigger and you usually have like five a night. My sleep was like this and just like deep sleep the whole time. And that, that was weird, but, but that's why I don't remember anything. I literally just went knocked out, like for the whole night for 11 hours, my alarm didn't wake me up. And, um, I feel really good today really good like my senses have been enhanced just a little bit like I'm I'm more aware of everything it's snowing beautifully right now by the way um, but I'm more aware I feel like hyper alert since I woke up now I don't know what to take from this experience I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go meditate now because when when something like that happens, which usually like every time I sit down to meditate, and something is gonna happen, like some sort of spiritual experience is gonna happen, it happens within the first like minute. If something is gonna happen when I meditate, and that's what happened last time. It was like, as soon as I closed my eyes and focused on my third eye, it was like, just like intense and powerful. That's how I can explain it. It's a very intense and powerful feeling. It's almost to the point, well, it, it is to the point where you get scared because the physical body and the mind can't really comprehend it. So it gets scared and it doesn't want to let go and surrender. So it resists. So there's two sides to it. And so instead of resisting it, I just kind of merge them both. I just kind of let the fear and the, the peace side of it kind of just come together. And that's when I was like knocked out for the night. I just fell asleep. Um, and so I don't know what to make of it if you have if you, if you have had a similar experience or you know what the heck happened, just comment down below. Um, I'd love to chat about it. But also, um, one more thing, the reason I haven't been posting lately, this is completely off topic, but I just wanted to bring it up. I, I'm on the carnivore diet now, obviously, for some health reasons. And I haven't been eating nearly enough. I've been eating in these huge deficits by accident because I'm not hungry. I already came from a low carb, ish diet so I just don't get hungry um, compared to the last time I did the carnivore diet so I need to eat a lot more when I do I feel pretty good that's about it hopefully I get the website up soon it's been down for a while let me know down in the comments what you think of that kind of experience um, let's talk about it and uh, make sure to subscribe thumbs up this video and share it um, with someone who maybe had a similar experience so talk to you guys soon Peace.